everybody welcome back again for your keem preparation strategies well today i have brought for you guys top 10 time saving techniques which can help you in your keem maths exam specifically okay so i know that we all struggle to do 120 questions in just 2.5 hours where some questions are a little difficult which take too much of our time and then we lose track of time sometimes we need questions to even do the guessing game so basically time is everything in the exam right so majorly what happens is we know everything but in the exam we are not able to perform as good as we know and then it results in just sadness and sadness because we prepared so much but we couldn't perform an exam and that's not what we want right so these time saving techniques will help you in attempting all the questions in the given amount of time and not give you stress at all okay now if you are new on the channel subscribe quickly i'm sana khan your maths master teacher for medantu vedantu malayalam channel and i am here to make keem preparation 100% complete in every way possible i will give you every tips and strategies for your keem maths exam all the chapters revision pyqs formula cheat sheets everything just at one place vedantu malayalam channel so just subscribe to it right now okay Now let's begin with the techniques and tips that is going to help you in the exam. Number one. So first of all, let me know in the chat box that do you also struggle to score well to attempt all the questions out of one twenty, especially in your maths exam because maths has the largest portion we all know and uh, maths. takes a lot of time in solving 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 the questions because it has very less theory it has lot to solve and to get to the answer right so do you also struggle if yes then let's look at some important points and tips to prepare well for your keem exam number 1 focus on time speed and accuracy how can you do that first of all you should have a watch to keep track of time i have told you about abc strategy right so you have to track your time according to that that how much you are spending time on the questions you know how much you are spending time on the questions that you are know but you are not sure of and how much time you should spend on the questions that you don't know at all because sometimes we like to guess also right so timing has to be tracked very very properly next how can you maintain your speed only if you don't waste time theek hai don't waste time that is going to give you speed and how can you do that any question that is taking longer than 1.5 minute skip any question that is taking longer than 1.5 minute skip that question don't attempt it okay just leave it for last and accuracy is super important because Maths is all about the final value. If even if your value is like plus one, minus one, it is wrong, and you will get minus markings. Accuracy has to be maintained. And how can you maintain accuracy? Cross check, especially matrices, determinants, equations of line. Whenever you are putting values, just cross check whether you are putting the right value at the starting or not if you are not putting the right value the entire question is wrong entire time is wasted okay so time has to be tracked speed has to be maintained and accuracy is super 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 important okay next you have to realize and analyze the chapters which are important for you and which you should be focusing on attempting first if you know them so you know that differential calculus integral calculus 2d geometry 3d geometry has the highest weightage so i hope that you have prepared these chapters well why it will help you boost up your confidence that you know so many questions obviously your confidence will be high that wow i am able to attempt so many answers and they are my sure shot questions so prepare these chapters sure shot that you are able to score good marks out of just four chapters next there are again some chapters which have 6 to 7 questions again 
28 to 40 marks are quite good and sufficient enough so prepare these chapters also well in advance understand all the formulas and memorize them so that at that time you don't get the pressure because the majority of the questions are going to come from these chapters so if you don't know these chapters then obviously confidence will be lost and you will not be able to uh, cope up with that in exam stress at in the exam and that will give you lots of loss okay so you should know the high weightage topic next is the most effective method to speed and accuracy is solve sample papers and pyqs how many times i have told you this many times of course so pyqs and sample papers are very 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 important because they will only give you the practice of completing 120 questions in 1.5 out uh, in 2.5 hour secondly they will give you a idea of the all the shortcuts required for solving the different types of question of course in the minnal game series we are giving you every shortcut trip tips and tricks for every type of question for every chapter so follow the minnal game series and you will be able to know all these shortcuts but again you yourself have to solve at least one sample paper one pyq in 2.5 hour to get the complete idea how you should approach the paper okay next is memorize all the formulas don't think that in the exam i will derive it i know this formula from this formula i can derive this formula so generally i advise my students to like don't memorize the formula you can derive it maths is all about logic i know but in competitive exam when there are so many questions so less time what is your focus time saving time is your focus how can you save time only if you remember the formulas and you are not deriving them then and there then only you can save your time so memorize each and every formula again in the minnal keem series we are providing you formulas of every chapter and before your exam i will give you complete formula cheat sheet so you will be having complete details over there okay next how can you choose options when you are confused between them so sometimes you might solve a question but then you get confused that am i solving it right or not so sometimes you can try the elimination method it is very helpful in uh, reducing the chance of negative marks because negative marks is something we don't want so how can you choose options first of all always check the none of the above and all the above option are they basically appearing to you as the answer because most of the time none of the above and all of the above are the answer most of the time but again many of the times they are given just to confuse you so just focus on them if they are there in the options secondly eliminate the option which is too different for example 12 14 and 18 94 is too different so the examiner is not stupid that they will give you a direct different value that oh this is the answer take it they will not do that they will of course give you confusing options so eliminate such options and next is generally it has been observed that by a survey of the examiners and exams we have found out in mcqs mostly the answers are b and c but that is not the guarantee of course the answer can be a or d but only to avoid confusion and to eliminate option you can try this method okay next is in maths remembering the direct values of squares cubes square roots cube roots and trigonometry is very very important because if you don't remember the direct values again if you go solve put suppose you are doing okay 6 cube is 6 into 6 into 6 so first you will do 6 6 or 36 then you will multiply with 6 so you will get uh, 6 6 or 36 6 carry over 3 6 3 is 80 9 or 2 1 6 how much time did you take but if you remember that 6 cube is 2 1 6 only one second required so rather than 10 seconds one second is better right so please remember all the formulas of squares cubes square roots cube roots trigonometries because 
they will save your time and that's what we want next read the instructions very very carefully while filling the omr sheet now what happens at the starting we get some 10 15 minutes to read the question paper and to read the instructions we generally waste that time stressing thinking oh i remember that formula or not but please just go through omr sheet instructions just check that how they want you to fill the options check how you have to fill the name roll number bubble filling everything should be cross checked properly and generally people think that to save time they solve the questions then they mark the omr sheet this is not advised because what happens is suppose question number one option a is correct question number two option b is correct question number three option a is correct but what you do you do a then you do b then you again do b and if you do one one circling wrong one question is also gone and along with that other questions are also gone because sometimes we are like we uh, cross check the wrong bubble and the entire paper can go in waste so try to fill the aomr sheet at the same time okay next some questions can be solved by option test as well so what is option test suppose they have given you equation of a line and they ask this point this point this point which point lies on the line no need to solve just take the point put it in the equation of line take the point put it in the equation of line take the point put it in the equation of line you will get your answer automatically if it if left hand side is equal to the right hand side right so sometimes from options we can reach to solution okay options also help you to basically analyze that like in which direction you have to go sometimes we get confused oh ellipse equation was this hyperbola was this was it plus was it minus just look at the options if all the options are plus 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 then you will be sure that okay ellipse is plus hyperbola is minus so like that you will know so always look at the options whenever you are feeling confused so basically the exam is not just about having the knowledge or not just about basically having a strategy in your mind but also you need all these shortcut tips and tricks which will help you in saving your time because if you don't save your time if you don't invest it at the right place now how will you invest it at the right place right place is nothing but the questions which you know solve them first so in yesterday's class also uh, i told you guys that abc method should be followed first solve the question which you know 100 percent leave the question which you don't know leave it leave it leave it just cross 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 in the question paper after that again once the entire paper is over again check the question paper okay now i think i can uh, i know this question if i try to memorize it i will remember then approach that question solve the questions and at the end you check are you scoring above 350 above 300 it's fine if you feel that i'm not even close to 200 marks i'm not even 150 then of course you you will try to do the guessing game right so then you go for the guessing game because negative marks is something it can benefit you it can uh, demote you right so at the end only you go for guessing game in the middle never be like i think this is the answer i will mark it no don't do such questions always at the end just realize and analyze whether you are getting 250 plus 350 plus marks then don't go for negative marks don't do guessing at all even for one question don't do it okay so study smart not at all hard and work even harder because only last one week only eight nine days are left for this scheme exam uh, and uh, of course it's not the end but it is definitely a beginning to your career and you have prepared so much during this time so try your best that whatever you have learned during this time you have to give the output as much as that right and it can only happen if you have the right strategy in mind the right 
tips and tricks in your mind which is going to help you in solve all the questions all right guys so all the very best for your kim exam i'm sana khan your maths master teacher i am here to help you prepare for each and every chapter each and every topic each and every pyqs and any doubts that you have okay so do let me know in the comment section also that you want any tips any strategy on any other topic or anything any help from my side do let me know in the comment section i will help you out all right thank you so much for watching today's video do hit the like button if you enjoyed today's session and subscribe to the channel thank you guys see you in the next class bye bye